What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com. So in today's video, we're gonna check out a free extension for SketchUp that allows you to align faces to paths in SketchUp. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so if you've ever um, had like a path like this one and you wanted to create something to extrude along it, especially with a more complex shape, you know, that can be a little bit challenging. Like um, if we were to draw a rectangle in here, for example, you could draw it along the green direction, but it's not really aligned with this edge, right? Which can cause some problems for you. Luckily, there's an extension from Chris Fulmer called CLF Perpendicular Face Tools that allows you to quickly create those and put them perpendicular to an object. Note that this officially only has compatibility up to 2018, but it's currently working fine in my SketchUp 2022, but just something to be aware of. And so the way that it works is it gives you three options, right? It gives you an option to create a perpendicular square, a perpendicular circle, or a perpendicular custom face. And so those do exactly what they sound like. So the square, for example, allows you to click on it, and then you can pick anywhere on an edge or a path, and it's going to create a square that's aligned with that path like this. So this can be really helpful for like setting up stair rails and other things like that. And so notice how you can type in a value to adjust the size of this. And you can either do that beforehand. So if I was to type in a value of two foot and then click, it's going to create a square. Or if I type in a new value while this is active, notice how it's going to adjust the size of the square that's created. So um, there's a lot of things we can do with this. We'll look at a more practical example in a second, but note that you can also use this to create a circle. And so if I click on the circle, right, I can come in here and I can draw a two foot circle like this. And again, notice how it's aligning it with this path right here. So in addition, I could also set my circle size. So if I wanted this to be larger or smaller, I could do that as well. Note that there is an option in here to um, tap control in order to use arbitrary rotation, I'm not really 100% sure I understand what that one does. If anyone knows what the control arbitrary rotation is, let me know. And so you can also create custom profiles. So let's say for example, that I was to create this profile right here and I wanted to align it with this path. What I can do is I can select it, click on this last option for perpendicular custom face, and then I can mouse over this. And notice what that's going to do is that's going to place this perpendicular to the face. Notice how you can tap the up arrow key in order to rotate this 90 degrees. Um, so with something like this, which is a little off axis, you'd probably still have to come in here and do some like custom rotations and things like that. But that is definitely an option. We'll look at that more in a second. But now let's talk about this a little bit practically. So let's say, for example, that we wanted to create a stair rail in here. So what I could do is instead of me drawing something and then moving it and aligning it to this line, I can just create the profile and then use this in order to quickly align it to the line. So in this case, right, if I wanted a one foot box, which is going to be too big, let's go with maybe like four inches or something like that. But then if I was to place that box in here, then I could use the path that I just selected and I could use the follow me tool and note that this gets created as a group. So I'm just going to click into the group like this in order to extrude this. And so let's say we wanted a more custom profile. What you could do is you could come in here, you could draw that flat profile. And then again, you can just select it, use this last option, and then click on this edge somewhere in order to align it. And remember that you can tap that up arrow key to rotate this 90 degrees. And again, remember that, that, that it creates this as a group. So you're either gonna have to explode it or edit inside of your group with your path selected, which is what I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna activate follow me right click and do a edit group and then click on the surface. So notice how I can use this in order to really quickly um, create things like rails inside of SketchUp. And then finally, like practically speaking, um, really where I think you're going to get the value out of this is this allows you instead of coming in here and trying to model something in place, right? So let's say that we wanted to, for example, create some wood base that goes around the inside of this shape. So something like this, right now what we would have to do is we would have to take this object and either model it in place or bring it over here and then rotate it and align it in order to um, extrude it. Well, in this case, it's really easy, right? You just select the face, click on perpendicular custom face, and you just bring it in here. And in this case, I would just move this edge so that it's aligned. But then I can use the follow me tool in order to extrude this around the inside of this object. It gives you the ability to model flat and then align things with your path, which lets you do all of your work for creating profiles and other things like that off of your actual model. 
All right, so personally, I could see this just becoming another tool in my workflow that I just go to and use automatically, just like any of the other tools in SketchUp. But I'd love to hear from you. Do you think this is useful? Do you think you'd use it? I just love having that conversation with you guys. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.